sense Dooku's dirty hand in all of this. He's just the leader of the Senate. He's not the leader of the entire universe. Oh, I forgot. You actually admire the man. <sighs> he has a very powerful face, doesn't he? He was one of the most brilliant Jedi I've had the privilege of knowing. I never understood why he quit. <gasps> well, one might say he was always a bit out of step with the decisions of the Council. You'll never entirely agree on Dooku, my old friend. But we can agree on the need to stop this war. The question is how? That is why it was so urgent that I speak with you. The Republic Senate is holding a critical vote on whether or not to escalate the war effort. Order! Order! Let Senator Sam finish. This is a matter not of philosophy. More troops are needed. The Republic cannot afford to let the Separatists gain any more ground. However, many of the delegates are undecided as to what to do. How interesting. You would find the Separatist Parliament in a similar dilemma. A senator in the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Your friend is a Separatist? One of Dooku's pawns? The Separatists used to be a part of the Republic. I was close with many of the senators who left. I may not agree with them, but they're more than pawns. I am certain if you could convince your representatives to extend an olive branch of peace towards the Republic, there might be enough sympathy in the Senate to finally open negotiations. I admire your spirit, Padme. Much like your old master, Kwai Kon Jin. Really? Oh yes, they were very individual thinkers. I can at least put the motion on the floor. Thank you, Mina. That's all I ask. To peace, then. To hope, hope. Idealists. In the end, I think he left because he lost faith in the Republic. How many lives on both sides have to end before we see the futility? Surely there's room in the galaxy for Confederate and Republic planets to coexist. Our generals inform us that troops in the field continue to perform valiantly. What we cannot afford is to be irresponsible. The Republic is near bankruptcy due to the cost of this war. I move that we immediately open peace negotiations with Chancellor Palpatine on Coruscant. The corporate alliance will never allow this to happen. Bankruptcy is not necessary, my friends. If we pass Senator Sam's bill to open new lines of credit, we will gain access to the needed funds. This is a democracy, and unlike the Republic, corporations do not rule us. Hey! Quiet. He disappeared for nine of ten years and turned up recently as head of the separatist movement. In accordance with the bylaws of independent systems, a voice vote is required. All in favor of initiating peace negotiations with the Galactic Republic, say aye. 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 Won't this bill essentially deregulate the banks? A small price to pay to finance the war, is it not? All those opposed? Nay. Nay! The ayes have it. a problematic situation brewing in the Senate. We must ensure that everything my master has set in motion does not unhinge. This is quite troubling. Your own Senate voting to end the war? I assure you, gentlemen, your worries are gravely exaggerated. I never really thought about it. I never asked. I know the Jedi were wiped out. The clones were decommissioned, and the droid army was just shut down. How can you be sure this groundswell of peace won't continue? Where is the attack we were promised? We need fighting to feed the machine and our profits. The Clone War ended, but why? If none of you won, who did? After our attack, the chances of peace will disappear. The banking clan, the Trade Federation, and the Techno Union will all get their fair share. And then some. That was dangerous and careless going to Raxus. Not to mention illegal. You went too far this time. Maybe so. But I did realize something. The politics of this war are not as black and white as I once thought they were. <laughs>